Hello, Miss. Good evening. Hello, Mr. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. How are you, Mr. Fine, thank you, teacher. You? I'm so so today. I'm so 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 not so good today. Yeah, yeah I'm okay, not. Okay, I understand. Yes, it's not a good day today, but I'm doing like trying to do good. Yeah. Tomorrow so. is other day. Ah, oh, yes. Hopefully, yes, mister. Yeah, because since yesterday was not a good day <laughs> in the night. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's, we are going to wait a little bit for the other ones, okay? We're going to maybe be two minutes for the other ones. Vamos a esperar unos dos minutos por los demás, okay? So maybe they join, okay? So let's wait. Let me send them a little picture, well, a little emoji. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Juan Ezequiel. How are you, mister? How are you? How are you, mister? Uh, uh, uh. How are you, teacher? I'm good, and you? <laughs> Yeah, so. Hello, Mr. David Emanuel, welcome. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, Mr. Welcome to the class. Thank you for being here. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's wait I'll, one more minute. Okay, so we can start and continue with the class, okay? One more minute. Welcome, Miss Diana, to the class. Okay, so let's start with the class. Thank you for being in here on time. Gracias a todos por venir a la hora. I really appreciate that. Okay, so let's start today's class. And so today we have, we are going to continue with English for program. This is basic module number four. My name one more time is Lisa Rosmenil Bravo Martinez. And today we are going to continue today. It is Tuesday, December 13, 2022. And today we are going to continue with unit number four. That is travel plans. Okay, vamos a continuar con unit number cuatro que es travel plans. And uh, so in in this uh, class, basically, we are going to be able to use be going to to talk about the future travel plans and hotel bookings. Okay, so el día de ahora vamos a aprender y vamos a practicar un poco acerca de cómo utilizar el be going to y cómo utilizar eh, al mismo tiempo este esto del be going to para hacer reservas, okay, en un hotel. So, uh, Miss, good hello. evening. Good evening, good Mr. Evening. Eh, está compartiendo pantalla porque no, no me aparece, solo dice que está la función de compartir, pero no veo. Really? Wait a second. Okay. What about now, Mr. Can you see it? Thank you. No yes. problem. That's okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So, in the class for today, you are going to again be able to use be going to to talk about future plans. El be going to 
Básicamente lo vamos a utilizar para hablar sobre eh, planes en el futuro. Entonces vamos y como les decía, para hacer reservaciones en un hotel. So let's start with the first activity that I have for you. La primera actividad que tengo para ustedes. Básicamente es que vamos a, yo le voy a decir una palabra, ok, anywhere. Y de ahí otro compañero acá va a decir una palabra con la última letra de la palabra que yo dije. Like for example, let's say that I say English, ok. English, entonces termina con la letra H, right? Can you tell me one word with another, uh, with what the letter H, please, Mr. Rodrigo? Hotel. Ajá, uh -huh, hotel. Uh, can you tell me another word, please, David? With sí, L? Ah, excellent. What about another word, please, uh, Mr. Serafín? With N? Um, number. Mm -hmm. Number. Can you help me with another one, please? Juan Ezequiel? Juan Ezequiel. Okay, let's go, Miss Ana Maleni. A word with the letter R. R road. R O D E creo que road de rodar. Ah, road. Exactly. Very good. Road. Uh -huh. Miss Blanca, can you tell me a word with the letter E? Elephant. Elephant. Excellent, Miss. Thank you. Let's see. Mr. Carlos Argueta, welcome. Can you tell me a word with the letter T, please? Yeah. Octopus. No, with the letter T, con la letra no. T. Oh. Sí. Sí. Uh -huh. eh, eh, turtle. Turtle. Ah, turtle. Very good. No. Excellent. Yes. Let's go. Another word with the letter E, please. Diana. Estoy tratando de acordarme, pero no recuerdo. Oh, my goodness. Anything, Miss, anything. Puede ser un objeto, una fruta, piensa. Ay, uh, oh, my goodness, what was. Uh, there's a food, hay una comida. Sí, de todo eso me estaba acordando, pero no. No. ¿Alguien quiere que ayude a Miss Diana with the letter E? Good evening. Enjoy. 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 Como yes. dijo comida, como dijo comida, pensé en espagueti. <laughs> no, pero es excellent egg. Excellent egg. Okay. Example. Example. Uh -huh. Let's go next one. Can you help me with the letter Y, please, Mr. Edwin? Why, teacher? I'm sorry. Why? Con la Y. Quiero ver, sería. Un yoyo. Yoyo. Yeah, very good, Mister. Thank you. Yeah, yoyo. It's good. Uh, let's go, Miss Clelia. Tell me work with the letter O. Miss Clelia. Uh, ya rato mencionaron una. Hmm. Estoy pensando. Ok. ¿Alguien escuchó la letra? Orange. La palabra. Ajá. O octopus, dijeron. Ajá. Orange, octopus, right. Pero yo quería decir otra. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss. No, but that was a good one, though. Esa era una muy buena. What about E? Help me, please, with the next one, eh, Mr. Julio.
Mm-hmm. With E. Uh-huh. One word with the letter E. Mm. Expression. Expression. Yes, very good. Then we have, wait, wait a second. Um, can you help me, Carlos Miguel? With a word that starts with the letter N. Hello, Tisha. Hello, Mister. Welcome. Um, number. Number. It's already there. Just a number, ahí. Ah, okay. Uh, north. Ah, uh -huh. Thank you, Mister. Let's go. Can you tell me another word, please? Vamos a ver. Um. Miss Rebecca, Karen, and me falta Miss Jenny too. Pero Miss Rebecca, help me with the, a word that starts with the letter E. Miss, no me aparece lo que está presentando. I am sorry, Miss. Wait, then, let me see. Déjame ver si puedo stop and then share one more time. Ahora, letter E. Ah, ya, ya, ahora sí. Ok. Repeat, please. Y tell me a word that start with the letter E. ¿Podrías decir una palabra que empiece con la letra E in English? X. Ah, E, E, I. Ah. E, X. X, like that? Deja, deja, deja. Deja, deja. Uh -huh. Or anybody? Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Embarrassed. 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 Uh -huh. Embarrassed. Embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Yes, excellent. Okay, any other word? Without oh, wait, let's see. Uh, Karen, Miss Karen, can you tell me a word with the letter T? Tomato. Ah, oh, thank you. Let's go next one. Miss Jenny's a uh, word with the letter O. Miss Jenny's a word with the letter O. Hmm. One. 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 Yes, exactly. Number one. Excellent. Okay, so very good so far. You created so many words over here. Some they were repeated, but yeah, right. You did very good. Thank you for doing the practice with me. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next activity. In the next activity, since yesterday we were talking about hotel, right? And we were talking about some facilities. Can you remember to me some facilities that we have in a hotel? Can you tell me what things you remember from the hotel? Wi-Fi. Uh-huh, what else? A laundry service. Okay, very good. A spa service. Uh huh. Bar. Bar, yeah. Room service. Discotheque room service. Uh huh. Buffet. Shower. Buffet, yeah. Uh huh. Swimming pool. Shower. Swimming pool. What it? Pool, pool, swimming pool. Pool. Uh huh. Shuttle service. Shuttle service. Very good. Excellent. Business room. Business room. Mm -hmm. Safe. Safe. Uh huh. Uh, wake up call. Wake up call. Excellent. Okay. So, I'm sorry. Souvenir store. Souvenirs store. Excellent. Wi-Fi. Mm hmm. 
So basically, uh, right now we are going to do this bingo time. What are you going to do? I'm going to send you a link. Les voy a enviar un link, ok, en el cual ustedes le van a dar clic al link, ok. Les va a aparecer una tarjetita y le va a decir generate card. Le va a aparecer ahí generar carta. Ahí está el link. Ya se lo pueden mandar también en WhatsApp. So, give me one second. And so, when, wait, ay, que sé. There you have it, okay. So click there, este link, click ahí, en el link que les acabo de enviar. Entonces, cuando ustedes le dan clic ahí, al link, les va a aparecer generate card, generar carta, vean. Le damos clic ahí y les van a aparecer, eh, les va a aparecer una, una tablita en la cual da, cada vez que le den eh, un clic, les va a aparecer ya marcado, ok. Entonces, yo voy a mencionar esas palabritas, ¿ok? And remember that if you have a vertically or horizontal, you will say bingo. Y recuerden que si completan tres eh, hacia verticalmente o horizontalmente, pueden decir bingo, ¿ok? Sí, es en diagonal, Ticho. No, mm, it has to be... Uh, Horizontal, I mean, this is horizontal or vertically, okay? Diagonal, no, I'm sorry. Okay, teacher. Ready. Okay, ready, everybody? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's go. And the first one, okay, so uh, wait a second. Okay. Mm. Okay, so full screen. Okay, so the first one, please select parking. Parking. Number two, all inclusive or all in one. ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo es que se llama el otro? All you can eat, all inclusive. Okay, let's see next one. Number three, free Wi Fi. Free Wi Fi. Bingo, what? Oh my goodness, Mister, send me the picture on WhatsApp. I want to see. Amaño. <laughs> bar. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need the bar right now so we can check if it is true. <laughs> I can't watch the bar. <laughs> we can, we can, we are going to watch the bar right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm, I'm waiting, Mr. Edwin. Uh, there we have the bar right there. Oh, yeah. So the bar is good. It's clean. It's clean. So we... <laughs> <laughs> vamos a ver alguien más. Okay, vamos a leer. Yeah. So we have the bar. We have the bar already. <laughs> 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 okay. Check the bar. Yeah, we are check the bar. Okay, vamos a ver otro. Vamos a ver somebody else. Fitness. Bingo. Oh, my goodness. Send the picture, mister. Oh, bet. Tenemos otro bingo there. Very good, Miss Karen. Excellent. Miss Karen, ¿por qué le borró si tenía bingo? <laughs> Send that, Miss. Envíelo, Miss. You have bingo. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh -huh, you have bingo, definitely, Miss Karen. Excellent. Okay, let's see, Mr. David. So, fitness, parking, and free. Ooh, yeah, free Wi Fi. Excellent. Very good, you guys. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the next activity. And the next activity, it will be attendance section, okay? Vamos a continuar con sección de asistencia. Thank you for doing the activity with me, okay, you guys? Now, let's start. Please say presente. Adriana Gabriela. Present. Thank you. Ana Marleni. Present. Blanca Luz. Present. Thank you, Carlos Miguel. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carlos Roberto. Present, teacher. Christian Alexander. 
Claudia María. Clelia Estela. Present. Thank you. David Emanuel. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana Noemi. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Roberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Jenny Carolina. Present teacher. Jorge Luis. Jorge Luis, are you there? Jose Dimas. Julio Cesar. Present. Thank you. Karen Estefanía. Present. Thank you. Nilton Alexander. Present, 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 uh, present. Thank you. Yo le había puesto missing, mister. Rodrigo José. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Rebeca. Present teacher. Serafín. Present, miss. Thank you. María Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Carmen Guadalupe. Ana Verónica. Present, Miss. Marley Oneida. Present, Miss. Juan Ezequiel. Thank you, mi Rebeca. Wait, pero mi Rebeca ya te pasé. No, pero sí te escuché, Rebeca. Solo Juan Ezequiel ayude. Mr. Juan is okay. No, I don't know. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. And so vamos a continuar. Uh, thank you for doing the attendance section with me. Okay, gracias por hacer la sección de asistencia conmigo. Okay, now, um, something that I want to clarify you guys is that by Thursday, okay, algo que quiero aclararles y me voy a pasar un poco más a, expa a español. Es que el día de mañana vamos a hacer dos ejercicios, ¿ok? O, o el jueves, uno de los dos días, mañana o el jueves. ¿Por qué? Porque quiero que para el día jueves ya hayamos completado la plataforma. Yo sé que Mr. Julio, por ejemplo, él ya la completó y no me acuerdo quién más, yo ya había... Este, visto que sí ya la habían completado estas personas nada más, pero que quiero que para el día jueves todos, todos acá la hayamos completado. De hecho, este, les iba a enviar un mensaje de temprano, pero estaba un poco mal de salud, entonces no, ni les he enviado ningún mensaje desde ayer porque it was off for me. Entonces, eh, el día de ahora sí, ya en unos ratitos les voy a mandar un mensaje explicándoles eso. Yo mañana, le, mañana o pasado, ya les voy a decir qué día, pero uno de esos dos días, vamos a hacer dos ejercicios de la plataforma, del cual yo les ayudo a, a trabajar. Sí, sería el jueves entonces. El jueves vamos a hacer dos ejercicios, ¿ok? Eh, de la plataforma. Y ustedes deberán de complementar para el día jueves el examen final también, ¿ok? Yo les ayudo a terminar la sección 4, pero ustedes deben de hacer el examen final. ¿Sí me entienden? ¿Por qué? Porque ya me están solicitando sus notas. Entonces, yo sé que algunos temas... Sí, eh, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Yo sé que algunos temas, como el que vamos a ver el día de ahora... Bueno, el, que el, día, el, día, el día de ahora está fácil, pero el del día de mañana tal vez nunca lo hemos estudiado. Entonces... Eh, ya el del día jueves y el día, el día viernes ya están súper fáciles. Entonces, pero igual yo les voy a ayudar ¿verdad? con la sección número 4. Así que les pido que si usted puede avanzar ahora o, o mañana durante el día, lo haga. ¿Ok? Recuerden, ya solo nos faltan tres días. ¿Ok? Tres días y finalizamos el módulo. Por favor, hagan el intento. Eh, al mismo tiempo... Eh, este, ¿Cómo se llama? Les eh, solicito, ¿verdad? Una vez más que intentemos. Yo sé que la mitad ahorita está presente, los puedo ver que están acá, vea, viéndome, pero quisiera que todos, por lo menos ya el viernes, ya estemos acá toditos, toditos, ¿ok? Listos para finalizar, 
¿ok? Ya que recuerden que, y como les decía, al, a mediado del, bueno, hace como unas semana y media les decía que había que aprovechar. ¿Por qué? Porque pues esto es eh, un curso de inglés que, como les decía, les abre muchas puertas, yo sé que sí, entonces había que aprovecharlo y lo vamos a aprovechar hasta el último día, ¿ok? Así que, por favor, de eso se, se los voy a pedir. Y, y siempre, ¿verdad? yo sé que están haciendo su mayor esfuerzo participando, ustedes siempre lo hacen y lo felicito, lo han hecho súper bien durante todo el curso porque han, aunque han estado de oyentes, algunos dicen, no mija, ahorita quiero participar, pero estoy de oyente, entonces, pero eso me fascina, very good, excellent job, but we can do more, pero yo sé que podemos finalizar con buena, vea. Eh, buenas este, expectativas ahí en la práctica de todas las actividades, ok, so let's do it, ok now let's go ahead and continue with the next topic that for today's class, vamos a continuar con el tema del día de ahora and that it is, be going to but before we start with that pero antes de comenzar con eso I have a question for you Uh, what do you prefer? Because as you know, there are many different types of hotels. Como ustedes saben, hay diferentes tipos de hoteles, right? So what do you prefer? Do you prefer a stay in modern or antique hotel? ¿Qué prefieren ustedes cuando, cuando viajan? ¿Quedarse en un hotel antiguo o en uno moderno? What do you prefer? Modern hotel. Modern. Um, in other modern no, mother, mother, no sé. mother, modern modern yes yes excellent very good okay so yeah right so do you you uh, now another question do you usually make a hotel reservation or someone else does it for you for example for me I am in charge of the hotel reservations because I look for everything that it says in the reservation. By, ustedes son los encargados de hacer la, la reserva o alguien más hace la reserva para ustedes cuando se queden en otros hoteles. En mi caso yo la hago porque yo me fijo en todas las letras que tiene ahí, que se, las recomendaciones, las estrellas que tiene. Yo me fijo, I notice everything. Yo me fijo en todo lo que tienen. So, I am very picky, soy bien picky, o sea, me gusta ver todo, like, very closely. So, and you, what about you? Are you the one that you make the reservation or no? Somebody else? Uh -huh. Do you make the For example, teacher, I, I prefer antique hotel. Uh -huh. And do you make the reservations, mister? Uh, Or, yes. Oh, yeah, you do. Okay. What about you? Let's say, hmm, Mr. Nilton, do you prefer modern hotels or antique hotels? A mod, modern, modern hotel. Modern hotels? Okay. And yeah. do you make reservations? Creo que me estoy quedando freeze, ¿verdad? Si me ven que es hello. Se quedó congelada. Hello. ¿Y, oh, ¿y ahora? Sí, sí. Un poco. La voz, la voz nomás. Ok, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off my, my camera because, yeah, my, I have an uh, internet connections. Probably. Ahorita ya no. Ahorita creo que ya estamos bien. No, todo bien. No. Ok, voy a apagar la cámara un segundo. Ok. So, mister. Um, so, do you make the reservations or somebody else does the reservation? ¿Tú haces la reservación? ¿O alguien más hace la reservación? la reservación por usted. Other. Other person. Yeah, other person. Okay, very good. Thank you for sharing. Um, okay, what about you? Let's see, Miss Blanca. Uh -huh. Do you prefer other or antique? 
Do you prefer modern or a modern? Okay. Do you make your reservations or somebody else? In my case, other person. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for sharing you guys, your ideas. Now, as you can see here, we have a conversation. They are making a reservation, right? So we are going to read it. Can you help me to read, please? In this case today, help me to read. Uh, uh, uh. Juan Ezequiel, are you there? Hello. Okay, can you help me please? Mr. Dimas, can you hear? Oh no, you're oyente. Or you are not oyente, Dimas? Me, teacher. Me. Okay, Ana, okay, thank you. Carlos Miguel, thank you. Okay, Ana Hernandez eh, and Carlos Miguel, one, two, three. Ana, um, okay, Ana, yes. empieza. Okay, hello, thank you for calling the Gold Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. Uh, I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I am going to arrive on Friday, uh, 14, uh, uh, when? Friday. 14th. 14th. Uh -huh, 14th. How long are you going to stay you, with you, Mr. Gomez? I am going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make uh, the reservation for a single or double room? A single room, please. Excellent. Very good. Okay. As you could see, and you can notice, they were um, doing their reservation. They were asking about the day. I can see you that you have a little bit of trouble with the dates. Puedo notar que a veces, siempre con las fechas, y últimamente los he escuchado a varios, de hecho, que tienen problemas con las fechas. Pero yo me acuerdo que estudiaron los números ordinales al principio en el módulo número uno. Recuerden que cuando termina con TH suena, third, por ejemplo, 14th, ¿ok? Ok, I know it's a little bit strange, yo sé que es un poco raro, ¿verdad? pero las fechas siempre va el día, después el mes a veces, después el número, ¿ok? En este caso es un número ordinal, ¿ok? So, estos números eh, generalmente cambian al final del número, así como en segundo, tercero, cuarto en español, en esto se le agrega um, TH y depende del número que sea, ¿ok? Just a reminder, I don't know if you remember that, but ya. Yeah. Sí, que nos enseñaron esa parte de que yeah. eh, first, second y luego desde el tercero, que sería uh -huh. el número ordinal, lo es first, fourth, five yeah. y así con Z yeah. al final, ¿verdad? Yes, exactly. Very good. Thank you, Miss. Just a reminder, right? Esa es una, record, una recordación. Um, so then, okay. So, yeah, they were having a reservation. What phrases do you see that they are making a reservation? ¿Cuáles frases ustedes ven por ahí que están haciendo una reserva que ustedes puedan identificar? When are you going to arrive? Uh huh. Where are you going to arrive? I am going to arrive. Uh -huh. I am going to I arrive. I am going to arrive. Uh -huh. How, uh -huh. how long are you going to stay with us? Uh huh. For a I single or a double room. I have your name, please. Uh huh. Very good. May I have your name, please? Esas son frases que utilizamos, verdad, para hacer una receta. ¿Qué más? Pero faltan. For a single or a double room. Uh -huh. For a single or a how, double. How can I help you? Okay. How can? Oui. I'm sorry. Yes. Very good. How can I help you? I need, I need to make a I reservation. Make... Mm -hmm. Definitely. Very good. 
Okay, excellent job, you guys. Now here we have uh, this, it says pair work. Mm, wait a second. Okay, so fill the form with information from the conversation. Okay, so who's the agent? Who is the agent? Jen or Gerardo, who is the agent for the tourist place? ¿Quién sería el, el agente de, de, de turismo ahí o el que está haciendo la reserva? Jen, Jen o Gerardo? ¿Ah? Eh, Gerardo, Gerardo. ¿Gerardo? El agente, el agente sería Jen. Ajá, Jen. Jen is the person, ok. Jen, and then we have the guest, o el, el, el que se va a hospedar sería? Gerardo. Gerardo, exactly, very good. Gerardo Gómez. Exactly, Gerardo Gómez. The, the check-in date, which one is the check-in date? Friday 14th. Friday, uh -huh. Friday 14th, and the checkout day? Until Monday. Eh, Monday, right? Monday. It doesn't say the date, right? No dice la fecha, pero sería 15th, 16th, 17th, okay? It's a single room or a double room? Single, single room. room. Single yeah, room. exactly. Single. It's a single room, exactly. Remember that we, we are making a hotel reservation. We mostly use would like for polite requests, need and want are also possible, but they are less uh, polite, okay? El would like, recuerden que es pues, básicamente más formal, ¿verdad? Y en cambio el, el need y el want eh, son, son educadas, podríamos decir, pero un poco menos educadas, okay? Then uh, we are going to see a little bit of uh, explanation for going to, okay? So please pay attention. Here we have uh, some definitions. Help me to read, Mr. Julio, going to for future. Going to is not a tense. If a special expression, we talk about the future. Thank you, exactly. Meaning, esto es muy importante. El going to no es exactamente un tiempo, así como el pasado, el presente, el presente progresivo, no. Sino que es una expresión que se utiliza para hablar acerca del futuro. Ok. And let's go ahead. Wait. When we are using going to, at the end of the sentences, we can use these words. Al final de las oraciones podemos utilizar estas palabras. Can you help me to read, please? Um, let's see. Hmm. Serafín. It is a use with expressions such as tomorrow, mm -hmm. tonight, next week, month, year, in a few hours, days, be next week, etc. etc. Exactly. By next week. And then, aquí, por ejemplo, puede ser next week next month, next year, right? In a few hours, in a few days, by next week, by next month, okay? Porque estamos acerca, hablando acerca del futuro, right? Then we have the structure for the positive sentences, okay? Tenemos la estructura para las oraciones de eh, afirmativas. And the structure is, a subject, then we have the verb to be, am, is, or are, going to, and the verb in infinitive. Verb in infinitive is like regular verb, okay? La estructura siempre sería sujeto, el verbo to be. Cuando digo verbo to be, recuerden que yo lo, lo que me refiero es al am, is, or are. Después el going to y después un verbo. And here we have uh, some sentences, okay, about the be going to. Can you help me to read the first one, please, Miss Adriana? I am going to sing at the party. 
Mm -hmm. She's going to sing at the party. Mm -hmm. He's going to sing at the party. Mm -hmm. It is going to rain. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Then we have plural form. Can you help me to read the plural form, please? Wait a second. Karen, oh, there, I have somebody there. Alguien levantó la mano, I didn't see. Karen, can you help me to read here, please? Plural. Yes, please. You are going to sign at the bar. We are going to sing, sign at the party. They are going to sing at the party. Excellent, thank you. Okay, and then as you can see, the order, como pueden notar, el orden, pero siempre tenemos el sujeto, el verbo to be. Then we have going to. Y nuestro verbo que se queda igual, complementamos con algo por ahí. Let's do some sentences. Okay, vamos a crear unas oraciones. Hey, give me one second. So, for example, remember that these are, uh, what is the structure one more time? Can you remember me the structure? Que me recuerda la estructura, vamos a ver. Subject. Subject. Plus B. B. Plus going to. Plus plus infinity. Plus infinity. Exactly. Excellent job, you guys. Okay, so then, uh, for example, if I have she, what is the verb be for she, everybody? Is. Is. Okay, going then, to. Uh -huh, going to. Going to. And then, for example, she's going to hmm, run. Oh, sorry? Run. Okay, she's going to run. Pero habían unas palabritas que les decía que podíamos utilizar. ¿Cuáles eran esas? Vamos a ver quién se recuerda. Tomorrow. Uh -huh. Tonight. Tomorrow. Next week. Tomorrow, next week. A few hours. Month. A few days. Year. Uh -huh. okay, next week. Next week. Uh -huh. Next month, right? Next year. Next year, exactly. A few hours, meaning order. <laughs> okay, hours. Hi, ¿qué pasó? Hours. Excellent. Entonces, aquí, por ejemplo, a donde dice, she is going to run, podemos decir, she is going to run tomorrow. Para no dejarla solo así, porque recuerden que el going to eh, no es un tiempo, pero sí estamos expresando el pasado, el, también el futuro. Ok, so, con esta palabrita es como que enfocamos un poco más, vea, con tomorrow, porque es ah, mañana, ¿verdad? Let's do, for example, day. What is the verb be for day, everybody? R. R, excellent. Uh, and then, going to, uh -huh, going, to, going to. Can you give me one verb? Eat. Eat, okay. They're going to eat uh, pupusas eat. next pupusas Sunday. Next year. Oh, next year, okay. <laughs> excellent, thank you. Yeah, very good. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Y aplica si dijimos, dijéramos, they are going to eat pupusas in the night. Yeah, definitely, mister. Sí, definitivamente, sí. Yo sé que estamos en la, ahorita estamos en the night, ¿verdad? Pero, este, podemos decir tonight. También puede, otra frase que podemos decir tonight. Digamos que usted está hablando en la mañana, me está diciendo que va a comer pupusas en la noche. Ah, we are going to eat pupusas tonight. O in the night, ¿ok? And right now, teacher. También, very good. No, okay. pero que right now es un poco más acerca del presente progresivo, mes. Entonces, ah, okay. ajá, entonces esa, recuerden que el presente progresivo es siempre un tiempo. Le voy a silenciar. Eh, básicamente con el right now es para hablar de una situación que está sucediendo ahorita mismo y como recuerden que estas frases las estamos utilizando para hablar de cosas que van a suceder en el futuro básicamente ¿verdad? 
And going to, something to remind you, el going to, algo que quería también este, comentarles es que se utiliza cuando estamos hablando de una situación que es 100, bueno, no 100%, porque pues cosas pueden pasar, ¿verdad? un 99.9% de probabilidad de que pasen, ¿ok? Entonces, esto es como algo que ya está planeado, ¿ok? So we use it for that. Now, um, no sé qué sucedía con el ejemplo del libro, porque ahora todavía. Um, what happened with the exercise? ¿Qué era lo que sucedía con ese ejercicio? Quiero ver. ¿Qué, qué pasaba? ¿Qué le salía malo? I didn't no entendí al final. Porque yo tenía lo mismo. El going era el que no salía bien. Uh, no, creo que era por el sujeto, ¿verdad? Porque ahí aparecía el sujeto. Uh -huh, ya vi. Vaya, esto, algo más que agregar a esto es que, por ejemplo, si yo tengo, voy a poner I. Podemos contractar el verbo to be. ¿Cuál es el verbo to be para I, everybody? Verb to be for I. Ajá. Going to. Can you give me one verb, please? Play. Ah, play. Estadio. In the stadium. Ah, very good. In the stadium. Eh, next. Next. Next week. week. Next week. Okay. Very good. I am going to play in the stadium next week. Excellent. Y también con los nombres. Por ejemplo, I can say uh, Julio. Okay. Julio, what is the verb be for Julio? <laughs> I'm sorry. Is, is right. Is, is going to is uh -huh. going to mm -hmm. Leo uh -huh. go to the beach. Ah, it's going to <laughs> go to the beach on Saturday. Up okay. night. At, what? Oh my goodness, where? Oh my goodness, to start serious, maybe. Okay, so very good. Do we have any questions so far, you guys? Questions, questions? Any questions about this topic? About the affirmative sentences, right? Ahorita solo estamos con las afirmativas, okay? Or no questions? Okay, what are we going to do right now? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita? Um, we are going to... I'm going to send you a subject, okay? Les voy a mandar un sujeto en el grupo de WhatsApp. Y ustedes me van a escribir una oración utilizando ese sujeto que les voy a enviar. O, o puede ser también un nombre, okay? So I'm going to start with the first one. Y el primero sería este. Hmm, it would be this one. Ok, ahorita deben de crear ahí en el grupo una oración utilizando ese sujeto que les acaba de, les acabo de enviar. Utilizando the topic that I just... Ok. Okay, so I have the first one. It's good. <laughs> Mister, ¿quién mandó la misma que ya estaba? Esa ya estaba. No, you have to say another one. Tienen que mandar otra. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, pero utilizando el, el going to, it is going to buy a rabbit next year. <laughs> okay, ay no, no programen lluvia para mañana, oh my goodness, don't say that. Recuerden que el it es utilizado para objetos. It is going to play, excellent, very good. 
utilizando el going to, right? I'm waiting. Okay, vamos con otro sujeto. Hmm, it would be... Ah, y tal vez it is going to pay. Uh -huh. Ahora una sentence with I. I, everybody. I'm going to run the next week. Very good, Miss eh, Miss Blanca. Pero esa la tenía, no. To another one. Okay, Mr. Dimas. Nice. Very good, Mr. Julio. Excellent, Miss Rebecca. Very good, Mr. Uh, a very good, Mr. Rodrigo. I, I, y eso, ¿quién escribió eso último? I am going to eat at a hotel, maybe. Oh, excellent, Mr. Edwin. I am going to go to the park, Miss. I am going to go to the park. Porque recuerden que debemos de utilizar otro verbo, right? You're going to go to Perkin, Mr. Serafín. Wow, nice. Going to see you tomorrow. <gasps> Me? Where? <laughs> Ok, very good, ok. Muy bien. Thank you for sending the sentences. Gracias a todos por enviar sus oraciones. I am going to eat pizza in the weekend. Wow, delicious, ok. Uh, so, let's go with the next one. Ahora vamos a continuar. And then, we are going with the next one. And the next one is the negative sentence. Vamos a continuar. Thank you for sending your sentences. Gracias por enviar sus oraciones. Ahora vamos a continuar. Vamos con las oraciones en negativo. With the going to. Y miren, miremos acá muy bien esta oración. First we have the subject. Después tenemos el verbo to be. Ok, am, is, or are. Después tenemos el not. Después tenemos el going to y un verbo. Similar. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Que le agregamos el not. Recuerden que estas frases las utilizamos para hablar acerca del futuro, eh, pero es una expresión, ¿verdad? No es básicamente un tiempo. Y aquí tenemos algunas oraciones. Can you help me to read these sentences, please, Mr. Carlos Argueta? Hay example. Yeah, please, sir. Please, mister. I am not going to sing at the party. Uh -huh. She is not going to sing at the party. Uh -huh. You are not going to sing at the party. Yes, excellent. Very good. And look, the only thing that changes is not. Miren, lo único que sucede y que cambia es que le agregamos el not. Wait, I don't know if I have some more. Questions? I don't know if you have any questions. No sé si hay alguna pregunta al momento. So, for example, here. Can I, can yep. I use for? Uh -huh. See, Mr. Julio? Uh, can I use the form, the another form, the contract? 
Yeah, sure, mister. Definitely you can use it. For example, you can say she, what is the verb a V contracted in negative? ¿Cuál sería el negativo contractado para she? Isn't. Mm -hmm. She isn't. Isn't. Y de ahí, going to. Y ahora un verbo. To study. Oh my goodness. Okay. No. French. Made a French. Okay. She is not going to study French. Y que si, por ejemplo, tengo we. What is the contractor for, for we, everybody? Aren't. Mm -hmm. We aren't, aren't going to. We aren't going to. A verb? Dance. Mm -hmm. Dance bachata. Okay. <laughs> Next year. <laughs> okay. Very, very good. And then we have. Hmm. He. What is the contractive form for he? Listen. Uh -huh. yeah. Listen. Or oh, is not. Is not, uh -huh. not going to. Not. Uh -huh. And then a verb. To a jump. To jump. jump exactly. Jump. To jump. The jump. Ajá, uh -huh, very good. Y así, ¿verdad? Así vamos haciendo las oraciones. Okay. Questions? ¿Alguna pregunta o duda? Questions, questions? Okay, for this one, I have a little bit of practice here. The practice is that you will see some sentences in the affirmative. Aquí, como pueden ver, tenemos uh, algunas oraciones. Eh, y vamos, lo que vamos a hacer es agregarle el going to más el verbo to be, que nos hace falta en la oración. Por ejemplo, number one, it says, I work, I work at the office. O sea, en, con el going to sería. Exactly. Ok, ahora quiero que hagamos, eh, el re, bueno, no el resto. Vamos a ver, number two, what would be? You are, you are going, going you are to go dance salsa. Going to dance salsa. Number three. It is, it is rain is today. Going to. It is rain. It is going to rain. Mm -hmm. Going to rain today. today. Mm -hmm. Very good. Next one. They are, they are going are to going to ask, going to ask a question. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Next one. He, he, is, he, is, he, is, he is going to going to at the hotel. Excellent. Number Next one, we we are we are we are, we are, we are going to French. Gemma Pell. <laughs> okay, uh, I, I am, am going to. I am going, going to give give some give candy. some candy. Excellent. Candy. Very good. Next one, she. She is. 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 She is he is he is going to the door the door push push the door excellent everybody thank you okay then we have some examples i don't know if you have any questions no sé si tienen alguna duda o pregunta solo escuché la mitad de la clase participando en the rest i don't know what happened Okay, wait a second. In the next one, what are we going to do? 
So as you can see, these ones were, wait, okay, these ones were in, in positive, right? Esas estaban en positivo. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahora? Quiero que escriban, bueno, que elijan cinco de estas oraciones que ven acá y las pasen a negativo, ok? In your notebook, solo escriban en su cuaderno y yo les voy a preguntar en un segundo. A todos les voy a preguntar. So, please, write it down, choose five, elijan cinco. Ok. Okay, thank you. I'm going to give you five minutes. Remember five, elijan cinco y pasan las a negativo. Estas mismas preguntas, solo, estas mismas oraciones solo es pasarlas a negativo, ¿ok? Okay, ready? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay, so I'm going to go first. Vamos a ver. Wait a second. Okay, so help me with number one, please, Miss Clelia. The negative form. Um, I'm not going to work at the office. Mm -hmm. Excellent, Miss. Going to work at the office. Thank you. Excellent. Let's go next one. Help me, please. Edwin, number two. You are not going to dance star exam. Exactly. Thank you. Excellent. Going to dance salsa. My goodness, my nails. Next one, help me please, Miss Jenny's. It, it, it isn't going to, to rain today. It is not going to rain today. Rain today, excellent. Next one, please, it would be Juan Ezequiel. Okay, they are now going to ask a question. Mm -hmm. They are now going to ask a question. Excellent. Thank you. No, Next. No. I'm no. sorry. Oh, yeah. What? Excellent, Mr. Yavin. El alumno superando al teacher. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Very good. Okay, let's go, Mr. Okay, Miss Karen. Next one. He. He is not mm -hmm. going to mm -hmm. 
stay at the hotel. Mm -hmm. Excellent, Miss. Thank you. Let's go next one. Help me, Miss Marlene. We aren't going to speak French. Mm -hmm. Excellent, Miss. Thank you. Let's go next one. It would be Mr. Nilton. I. I am not going to give some candies. Mm -hmm. To give some candies. Mm -hmm. Miren, y algo que recargar acá. Después del tú, recuerden que va un verbo, vea, porque vi en unas oraciones que no íbamos a verbo mm -hmm. anteriormente, ¿ok? Miss Rebecca, next one. She. She is. She is not going to try the software. Yes, try the software. Excellent. Thank you, Miss. Let's go next one, Mr. Rodrigo. They. They aren't going to help at home. Yes. Going to help at home. Excellent, Mr. Thank you. Let's go next one, please. Ana Marleni. He. Yeah, he's not mm -hmm. going mm -hmm. to push the door. Excellent. Push the door. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, so now one more time. Do we have any questions? Ahora una vez más, tenemos alguna question? Or no questions at all? Because now um, we are going to go with some questions. Ahora pues vamos a continuar y vamos con algunas preguntas. So when doing questions, okay, cuando creamos eh, preguntas, recuerden que tenemos dos tipos. Tenemos las yes, no questions, ok. Porque se llaman así, pues porque contestamos con el yes o el no. Wait, creo que me, ahorita me veo freeze. Ok, y tenemos las WH questions. Y con las WH questions, lo que sucede es que eh, damos, eh, we give more information, damos más información. ¿Cómo? Pues utilizando una oración al momento de contestar. Vamos a empezar con las yes no questions, ok. Yes no questions, they start with the verb be, ok. Eh, las yes no questions, la estructura siempre empieza con el verbo to be. Después vamos a utilizar un sujeto. Después vamos a utilizar el going to. Y después vamos a utilizar un verbo, ok. Like for example. Are you go I mean, sorry, are you going to, can you give me one word, please? Mm -hmm. Are you play. going to uh, play? Okay, are you going to play um, what? Call of Duty? <laughs> Call of Duty? Are you going to play Call of Duty? Entonces pueden decir, yes, I am, así como el verbo to be, ¿se acuerdan, verdad? Or no, I am not. Ok, es así es como contestamos. For example, Ana, Ana, Ana Hernández, Ana Verónica, ¿está como oyente a mí o está ya acá? ¿O todavía no? Estoy como oyente a mí. Ok, ok, no problem. Uh, so let's see, Miss Adriana. Can I do a question to you? Te voy a hacer una pregunta, Adriana. Okay? Okay. Okay. Are you going to travel to Panama next year? Yeah. Are you going to travel to Panama next year? Uh, no, I am. No. Ah, okay. Are you going to travel? Le dije to Panama. Creo que yo a ti le cabe a Panama o qué me corrige, because I don't remember. No teacher. No lleva. No lleva. Thank you. Next year, porque yo hace se me olvida. En español se lleva mis Panamá. Ah, okay. But where? Pero dónde? Sí. Yo creería que no. 
Hasta la voy a buscar Googlela. mejor porque Googlela. no quiero. Googlela. Yeah, because I don't remember. Ahorita sinceramente no me acuerdo. Posible en la última Panamá. Ma. Yes, en la última, pues no estaba en la última tan... ya lleva. La uh -huh. última. Well, in Spanish, okay. right? In English? Yes, no. Yes. In English, can I? Yeah. No. Uh, no. Okay. So, are you going, Mr. Carlos Miguel, are you going to work in El Salvador next year? Yes, I am. Okay. ¿Por qué tan sad? No, because you're working in El Salvador. You have to be excited. <laughs> Tiene que estar excited, mister, because working in El Salvador is the best. Or oh, no, mister. No. Alice is cheap living here in El Salvador. Let's see. David Emanuel, are you going to watch Netflix on Saturday? Yes, I am. Oh, nice. Let's see. Jenny's. Are you going to ride? I mean, drive? Drive a car? Yes, I am. Okay, very good. So, these are the questions. Pero recuerden que puede ser otro, cualquier otro sujeto, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, are, or maybe is. Is, for example, is Diana going to... Can you give me one verb, everybody? Walk. Okay, is Diana going to walk next month? Entonces podemos decir, yes, she is, okay? O negativo, no, she isn't, okay? Depende del sujeto al momento de responder, vea. Por ejemplo, le puedo decir, Serafín, is your father going to, it's going to run? Is your mm. uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Yes, he? I am. No, because I'm asking no. about your father. So I'm asking uh, no. father. No. Is your father going to run? Mm, no. No, Miss. Entonces sería no. No. Going to run. Yes, o he is, o no. No. Ajá, uh -huh. thank you. He isn't. Perfect. <laughs> no, he is. He's not. Thank Perfect. you. No problem. Okay, what about you, Mr. Nilton? Is your sister, no sé, si, do you have a sister, mister? Yes. Okay, is your sister going to study next year? Yes. Uh, here is. She is. Okay, she is. Yes, yeah, she is, exactly. Juan Ezequiel. Are you there, Juan, or no? Okay, Mr. Julio. Okay, uh, Mr. Julio, hello, yeah, uh -huh. Is your family traveling on vacation? Is, is your family going to travel on vacation? No, we aren't. Uh -huh, no, exactly. they aren't. Uh -huh, no, they aren't, exactly. Okay, and yeah. Please, uh, this one is, um, we are going to um, listen to the subject, okay? Recuerden, por favor, siempre al momento de eh, escuchar estas preguntas, notar el sujeto, ¿verdad? En Davo B. Al principio es como que, ay, oh my goodness, ¿cómo me voy a fijar que es? Si es chihi, pero don't worry, practice make perfect, ¿ok? La práctica pues hace el maestro, bien dicen, ¿verdad? Entonces, con mucha práctica ya verán que sea muy fácil. Y además que este tema, ahorita lo estamos estudiando, pero en el siguiente módulo también se estudia, así que no se preocupen, ¿ok? Ahora vamos con las WH questions. ¿Cuáles son las WH questions? ¿Quién se recuerda? Where 
Excellent. What? Uh huh. How? Uh huh. Okay, so these are basically some of the WH questions. Estas son la mayoría, ¿verdad? Hay muchísimas más que nos faltan acá. Eh, so, vamos a empezar con el when, ¿ok? Básicamente con todas es la misma estructura, ¿ok? Primero el, el, la WH question, ¿ok? Después vamos con el um, verb to be, el verbo to be. Después vamos con el subject. Después el going to. Y después un verbo. And then we have, like, for example, when are you going to have vacation? For example, vacations. Y miren el orden. Siempre, por favor, prestemos atención en esto. El when, que es la WH question, el verbo to be, nuestro sujeto, el going to, el have, que es nuestro verbo, ¿verdad? Y algo para complementar. ¿Cómo vamos a responder? When, when, are you having, when are you going to have vacations? Y decimos, I am going to have vacations. ¿Cuándo? Vamos a ver. In December, let's say. Yo sé que no todo, but tenemos vacations in December, but just... Ah. ¿eh? 25 vacation. 25 vacation. Okay. Oh, that's good, mister. That's super good. So in December 25th, okay. Ahí sería in December 25th, okay. Excellent. In December 2023. 20, 23, too. ¿Esa fecha van a tener todas esas? No, no, December 2023. Ah, you're my cool, mister. <laughs> that's so sad, mister. No, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> where where are you going to can you give me one verb please to sleep okay uh, sleep where are you going to sleep y contestamos i am porque es de, de you verdad entre dos personas entonces decimos i am going to sleep mm -hmm. with my daughter where where no where place at the, at the work at, no mister <laughs> at work okay or maybe um, let's see what what are you Going to, can you give me one verb? Read. Read. What are you going to read? Ah, it sería para contestar, ¿cómo sería? I'm going to read. I am going to read. Mm -hmm. What? A the newspaper, oh, okay, the newspaper. Okay, porque eh, vaya, algo importante, ¿verdad? Recuerden que al final, al final, pues ponemos lo que nos están preguntando, que es el what, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, aquí sería the newspaper. Question so far, everybody? No. Okay. Okay, let's go with the next one. And, and now here I have some questions. Mm, well, examples of questions, okay? Aquí tenemos algunos ejemplos de preguntas. So we are going to read them. Help me with the first ones, please. Um, hmm. Mr. Nilton, the first three questions, please. Okay, when are they going to arrive in Lima? Mm -hmm. 
where are they going to stay in Lima? And what are they going to visit in Lima? Yes. Thank you, mister. Then let's see the next three, please. Help me to read. Uh, let's see. Miss Marlin. These two, please. Help me to read them. How long are they going to study? Where are they going to run? Return, right. me To return, Miss? ¿O qué es lo que está viendo, Miss? Se están viendo las oraciones, ¿verdad? Yes. How are they going to... Yes, teacher. Ok, es que me dijo run y es return. Return, Ajá. Uh -huh. Y yo dije, está leyendo porque las otras sí, yo me acuerdo que había una que decía run. Let's see next one. Mr. Julio, the last two, please. Where are they going to visit in August 24th? Uh -huh. And Where, what are they going to visit in August 23th? 23rd. Ex exactly. Very good. Thank you. Okay, those are just examples. Esos son los ejemplos. Lo mismo. Y miren, si se fijan, es lo mismo que las yes, no questions, solo que le agregamos el WH question, ¿verdad? Let's go and we are going to go to the manual. Okay, in the manual, we have in page 42, everybody, we have some more examples. Okay, so we are going to read them. Okay, so affirmative sentences and we have these ones. Help me to read those, please. Mm -mm -mm. It would be Anna Marlene, please. Help me with the first ones. Okay, affirmative sentences. Yeah. I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stay on play Monday. Miss mm -hmm. Fuentes is going to travel to Costa Rica on April 24th. 14th? 14th. Uh -huh, oh. Yes. Yeah, hey, thank you. Very good. Okay, let's go next one. Help me to read, Mr. Carlos Argueta. Negative sentences. Mm -hmm. Mr. Fuentes is is not going to fly to Cuba on the 14th. Mm -hmm. Mr. Gomez is not going to arrive on the Saturday. 13th. Thursday. Thursday, Mr. Mr. Thursday, 13th. Thursday. Okay. So remember that be going to. And plus the verb B, it's to describe a casual events and that will definitely happen. Como les decía, vea, el going to, lo vamos a utilizar para hablar y describir actividades y acciones que definitivamente van a suceder a menos, vea, de fuerza mayor que no sucedan en el futuro. Y para las negativas, pues solo le agregamos el not. Then we have here some questions y aquí tenemos las yes, no questions. Help me please to read um, David and Manuel. Yes, no question. Yes. Uh, are you going to stay in the smoking or non smoking room? Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? Double room, excellent. Next one, Carlos Miguel, please help me here. Information questions. Mm -hmm. How long are you going to stay? Mm -hmm. When are you going to arrive? Arrive. Arrive. Exactly. So. Very good. Excellent. Okay, now here, remember that just no questions are formed like this. Eh, recuerden que las just no questions, pues una vez más, están formadas con el verb V, the subject going to, plus the verb. Y las WH question, pues solo se les agrega el WH questions, right? Para saber un poco más de información. Then here in exercise number five, as you can see, these are questions and sentences. Wait, wait, wait. Mm, no, but they're both sentences and questions. Tenemos de las dos oraciones y preguntas. What are we going to do? We are going to order them. Okay, le vamos a ordenar. Okay, so um, for this activity, I'm going to give you five minutes so you can write them in the correct way, please. But I will give five minutes so you can write them in the correct way. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it, please. 
Vamos a intentarlo, please, everybody. Are we ready? Ready, ready? No. Okay, I'm gonna give you two more minutes. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, exam. Okay, so number one. What do you have in number one, please? Let's see. Mr. Julio, I can see that you have an open microphone. Tell me, number one, please. When are you going to arrive to Dallas? Uh -huh. Thank you. 
All right, to Dallas. Excellent, thank you. Number two, a volunteer to help me with number two. Is you are going to make a reservation for the conference room. Mm -hmm. We're going to a reservation for the conference room, right? Next, uy, me faltó una N acá. Bueno, ahí le faltó una N, pero you know that is an N. Next volunteer, please. Esa es question, this is question. Number, which one, mister? Two. Number three. Number two. No, number two is not a question. La number two no es una oración. Ah, uh, you are, oh, okay. Number three, Mr. Carlos, can you help me? No, no llegué hasta ahí. Oh, let's uh, I'm going to. Mr. Tusios is going to check up. I am going to, I am going to ah, wake I'm up. To rise, wake up, call for wake 5 Wake up, call. Uh, request. Request. A wake up call. A wake up call. Uh -huh. At. Ah, oh, no, four. 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 Uh -huh. four. 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. 5 a.m. Excellent. Number four. Ahora sí, Mr. Carlos Miguel. Tell me. Number four. Uh -huh. um, uh, Mr. Turcios. Miss. Miss. Uh -huh. Turcios. Is going, uh -huh. is going to check out tomorrow. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Check out tomorrow. Excellent. Let's see next one, number five. Volunteer to help me. The main mainstream team is going to attend the conference on October 10th. Is he going to attend? You say it, right? The conference. on October 10th. Thank you. Next volunteer for the number six. Miss Diaz mm -hmm. is, is going to need a no smoking room. Exactly, no smoking room. Excellent. Do you have them like that? Así las tenía. Ustedes, can you check them out? Las pueden chequear por ahí. Solo una tercera, me equivoqué ya. Ok. What happened, Miss? Ah, porque escribí primero wake up call, request, y era request, y después wake up. Yeah, Miss. Una. Sí, que el request sería como el verbo en ese caso. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, now let's go uh, in this activity right now. In a few minutes, we are going to think of two business events that are going to attend. You have to assign dates for each other, okay? And you have to practice making a hotel reservations for those days, okay? So, primero vamos a pensar en dos eventos de negocio, okay? Que ustedes que ustedes van a asistir, por ejemplo, ahorita viene la Christmas dinner, ok, creo que todo, ¿verdad? Christmas dinner, es bien raro que no, or maybe meetings, o tal vez alguna reunión, vea, so, este, tienen esto, digamos esos dos eventos, vea, meeting, recuerden que es reunión, vea, So it says que tienen que asignarle una fecha. Tienen que asignarle una fecha. Por ejemplo, digamos que la Christmas dinner is on uh, December 17th, right? Que es este sábado. Y de ahí tenemos el meeting que es December 19th, que es el Monday. Ok. Uh, so it says that you have to practice making a hotel reservation for those days. Tienen que practicar hacer una reserva en un hotel para esta fecha. ¿Qué podemos hacer? Vamos a, a podemos tomar como ejemplo la que estuvimos practicando eh, anteriormente. 
Okay, esta. How, hello, thank you for calling. The, the, aquí le cambiamos el nombre ¿verdad? al hotel por acá. Aquí dice The Golden, pero nosotros le podemos poner, no sé, Tropico Inn, eh, Royal, Royal, ¿qué? ¿Cómo que se llama? Intercontinental. Ok, so a esta le cambiamos el nombre y de ahí, eh, Intercontinental. Intercontinental Hotel. This is, y dicen un nombre, en vez de Jem sería, digamos, I don't know, let's say, Julio, how can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Entonces, similar to this, algo similar a esto, pero deben de hacerlo con las fechas que ustedes asignen, ¿ok? Y este, con su información, ¿sí? Do you understand? ¿Sí me entendieron? Yes, teacher. Yes, ok, yes, teacher. so yes, we are going teacher. to create this conversation. Vamos a hacer esa conversación, ok. And we are going to do it. I'm going to give you five minutes or a little bit more, maybe seven minutes. And please write it down. Por favor, escríbanla, ok, con su información, ok. So wait a second. I'm going to create the teams. Voy a hacer los teams. Just give me one second. So you can work. Wait. Okay, one sec. I'm gonna try to do with them in pairs. Voy a tratar de hacerlos en pareja y va a ser una persona oyente, vea por ahí. You know this already. Wait. Okay. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, go. Okay, so uh, remember that you have one oyente. In cada grupo hay un oyente, okay? So, so the rest works, okay? So you have five, seven minutes, okay? So please practice, okay? Here we go, accept the invitation. Thank you. Hi, Miss. Me sacó del grupo. Really? Wait. Yes. Ya te agrego, wait. Wait a second. Mr. Jorge Luis, Edwin, can you accept the invitation, please? Ah, Mr. Nilton, también. Lo siento, teacher. Es nope. que la compu se quedó sin carga y no tenía el cargador a la mano. Oh, my goodness, Mr. I feel your way. Solo estoy tratando de ver. Ah, aquí, ok. Four. And. Wait a second, mister. No sé para dónde enviarlo. Bueno, lo vamos a enviar acá. Ok, acepte invitation, mister Serafín. Ahí ya está. Voy a poner igual, hello. I need to make a reservation. I need to make a reservation. Necesito hacer una reserva. Ah, 
Y después dice Jenshu, no era Ahí también podemos colocar. Nombre. Sure, my have your name, please. Sí, va, creo que más que todo cambiar la parte de. Podríamos cambiar la pregunta. Esa pregunta de you are going to arrive, podemos ponerle por otra. Entonces vamos por sure, may have your name. Ay, el nombre. Estoy cambiando los nombres. Sí, tienen que cambiar los nombres a, a los de ustedes, ¿ok? Sí. Ok, perfecto. Ok, aquí. May I have your name, please. Ajá. Sería Carlos. Yes. Carlos. Ajá. O Carlos. Allá, Carlos Argueta. Of course. Allá, Carlos Argueta. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Thank you, Mister. Otra vez, otra vez. Okay. Hello. Thank you for calling the Barcelo Hotel. This is Clelia. How can I help? Sería yeah, I'm going to go on este para mi caso podría ser Saturday seventeenth con Z al final. Saturday. Saturday, 17. 16. No, 17. No, 17. Yes. Hello, Mr. Rodrigo. I don't know what happened. Te había puesto a alguien, pero no está. Eh, creo que. Hello, Miss. <laughs> Hello, mister. What happened? Aquí hay un, me, me salí un ratito, pero aquí hay un gran ruido. Lo siento mucho. Si le dije a Rodrigo okay. que me disculpara. Ay, uh, that's okay, mister. I totally understand. Pero But... sí estoy más, más o menos pendiente. Le juro que no estoy al 100 pendiente porque hay mucho ruido acá. Pero sí he estado tratando de estar presente lo más que pueda. Hoy. Ok. But in a few minutes, mister, we are going to do a tenant section, ok? En unos minutos hacemos sección de resistencia. Please try to be here. Intente estar acá. Un un minuto, like right now, ok? Ok, ok. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Do you finish practicing? No terminan de practicar. What? Oh, don't tell me that. No me digan eso. Okay, pero antes de que continúen practicando, I just want to do a tenant section. Solo quiero hacer sección de asistencia because it's already four minutes late porque ya son cuatro minutos tarde. So, vamos a esperar unos segundos y después volvemos a... a Yeah, I know. Sí, yo vi que varios los estaba sacando. Mr. Rodrigo me dejó hablando, Mr. Right here in my heart. No, teacher. Right here in my heart. No. No, no sé qué pasó ahí. Yo, Mr. Yo. ¿Por qué me dejó hablando? Automáticamente me regresó, no sé por qué, a otro grupo. No sé por qué. Sí, es que yo lo había redirigido, Mr. A otro donde había otros compañeros que sí estaban practicando. Ah, okay. Ajá, para que practicaran. Sorry, teacher. Don't worry, I understand. 
Okay, I'm just kidding. Okay, please everybody say presente, okay? Adriana Gabriela. Presente. Thank you. Ana Marleni. Presente. Thank you. Blanca Luz. Presente. Thank you. Carlos Miguel. Presente. Thank you. Carlos Roberto. Present. Thank you. Christian Alexander. Claudia Maria. Remember Claudia Maria here, but I don't know. Okay, no. Clelia Estela. Present. Thank you. David Emanuel. Present. Thank you. Diana Noemi. Present. Thank you. Edwin Roberto. Present teacher. Jenny Carolina. Present teacher. Jorge Luis. Mr. Jorge Luis, está por ahí. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, Jorge Luis. Sí, presente. Presente. Present. Okay, thank you. Jose Dima. Okay. Thank you. Julio César. Present. Karen Estefanía. Present. Nilton Alexander. Present. Rodrigo José. Present. Ruth Rebecca. Present, Miss. Serafín. Present, teacher. Thank you. María Jamilet. Present. Thank you. Carmen Guadalupe. Ana Verónica. Okay, Carmen, thank you. Ana Verónica, I remember that she was here. Mm, no, she's not here anymore. Marlene Oneida. Present. Juan Ezequiel. Present teacher. Thank you, very good. Okay, uh, I know <laughs> that you were practicing. Yo sé que ustedes estaban practicando ahí en uh, like the conversation. They didn't finish, no terminaron. Recuerden que la tenían que enviar ya completada, okay? So with the, with the information about you, con la información acerca de ustedes. Hmm, do you finish with that? Si la hicieron o do you want to practice one more time? O quiere practicar una vez más? Algo que quiero decirles y que ya se los había dicho muchísimo antes, like one or two weeks ago. Cuando terminemos de hacer una conversación, tratemos de cambiar papeles, ¿ok? O agregar otras preguntas, ¿ok? A la conversación, ¿ok? Siempre utilizando lo que hemos aprendido, ¿ok? It's very important, es muy importante porque así, pues, expandemos, ¿verdad? Las conversaciones ahí y aparte de eso, practicamos más. Questions? Oh, we are good. You want to do the practice? Preguntas o, o quieren, hacer, quieren hacer la práctica? Yeah, we're good. Estamos bien entonces? Okay, let me see. Hmm. Okay, Carlos Miguel, tell me one color. Yes. Teníamos que escribirlo y enviarlo. Oh, yes, okay. the conversation. Okay. Okay. What about the other ones? Mr. Carlos, bueno, iba con Mr. Carlos Miguel. Mr. Carlos Miguel, can you tell me one color, please? ¿Me podrías decir un color? Um, color. Um, no, any color right now. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. White, white. white. No, mucho lo pensó. Mr. David Emanuel, es que usted lo está buscando. Él es, no, ya. La venganza. Yeah. That was revenge. You no, know, my goodness. Uh, David <laughs> Emanuel, okay. Oh Anotado my God. Anotado para el otro módulo, Carlos. <laughs> Mañana, el otro. <laughs> okay, David Emanuel, usted estaba practicando con Mr. Nilton, right? Yes. Okay, so let's go. Uh, you're going to do the, the conversation, okay? Okay, N Nilton, okay. sir. Okay, one, okay. two, three, go. Hello, thank you for calling the Capital Hotel. This is Nilton. Can, how can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Okay, sure. 
May I have your name, please? Of course. I am David Custodio. Thank you, Mr. Custodio. When are you going to arrive? I am going to arrive on Saturday 17th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Custodio? I am going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for single or double room? Uh, double room, please. Excellent for a double room. Excellent, Mr. A big bag for you. Excellent. <laughs> okay, David Manuel, tell me one letter, any letter. Dime una letra, any letter. Sí. Sí. <laughs> oh my God. Carlos Argueta también. Carlos Argueta, Carlos Miguel. Okay, no. Next letter, wait. Another letter, Mr. David. Está, no, está Clelia, ¿no? Ah, está Clelia, it's true, it's true. Ah, no, pero Clelia, Clelia va conmigo. Ah, ok, bueno. está en los dos. Está Cristian también. Ah, Cristian, it's true. No, right. another letter. Oh, yeah. Carmen Guadalupe. Ajá. Uh -huh. M. M. Um, M, M, M. We have Maria Jamilet. We have... Um, who else with M? Maria Jamilet. Solo Maria Jamilet. Ok, vamos a dar entonces with Carlos Miguel then, because Carlos Miguel, so we have M, anything. Like Lelia and Carlos Miguel, one, two, three, action. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Ay, perdón. Este, no, hello. <laughs> hello, thank you for calling the Florencia Oral. This is Carlos. How can I help you? Uh -huh. Hello, I need to make a reservation. Uh, sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Claudia Flores. Thank you, Miss Flores. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Saturday 12. How long are you going to stay with you, Miss Clelia? I'm going to stay until Monday. Uh, are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? Mm -hmm. A single room. Single okay. room. Thank you. Very good. Excellent job. Thank you for doing it. Just checking one thing. So let's start checking algo. So um, here I'm going to arrive. Do you change the dates? Si cambiaron la fecha, right? Yes o no? Yes, sí. Uh -huh. Sí, uh -huh. sí, sí, era otro sí, día. <laughs> era otro día. Ajá. Uh -huh. Just era otra checking. Fecha. Okay. Okay, now Miss Clelia, can you tell me one color, Miss Clelia? Un color, Miss Clelia. Blanc, blanc uh -huh. No, Miss Clelia. <laughs> Miss Clelia, tell me one color, please. Letra de. Uh, no. Uh, uh -huh. White. White. Okay, so I have Mr. Rodrigo or Miss Karen. Vamos a ir con Miss Karen porque Mr. Rodrigo no pudo participar. So, bueno, es que a varios tienen White ahorita. Tiene Miss Jenny, Mr. Julio. Miss Karen, ¿con quién va usted, Miss? ¿Con quién es? usted estaba con? Jenny. Con Miss Jenny, ok. Ah, sí, es, ahí está, ya la vi, ya la vi. Ok, so let's go. One, two, three. Action. Hello, thank you. Thanks you for calling the Sheraton Hotel. Mm -hmm. This is Jen Jenny's. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Mm -hmm. Sure. May I may I have your name, please? Mm -hmm. of, of course, I am Karen Perez. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mrs. Ka Mrs. Perez. When are you going to arrive? How long 
are you going to to stay with use me use miss miss Perez? No, I am going to arrive. Y la fecha. Oh. Uh -huh. yeah. So sería, I am going, acá va, I am going to arrive. Se debe mostrar casi. I am going to arrive y la fecha, mis. So sería, Miss Karen, a usted le toca esa sección, mis. Uh -huh. I am going to write on going. I am going to write uh -huh. on um, Saturday. Saturday. Uh -huh. okay. First, second, third. 14, 15, 16. Cualquier día. Uh, 16. Okay. How long are you going to stay with you, Mrs. Perez? Mm -hmm. I am going to stay mm -hmm. you until Monday. Monday. Mm -hmm. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? Mm -hmm. A single room, please. Excellent, girls. Thank you for doing the practice. That was so good. Don't worry, you did excellent. Thank you for practicing with me, okay? Now, do we have any questions ahora? Tenemos alguna pregunta o duda so far about this topic? Yes, teacher. Yeah, tell me. Con Adriana, bueno, cambiamos un poquito la, la conversación, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ah, sí, le acabo de ver. Que uh -huh. Hay una pregunta que dice, how many people come with you? ¿Es come o es came? Come with you. How many people come with you? Y en la respuesta, bueno, y nos tomamos un poquito, nosotros le colocamos, we are three people, They are person, three. pero no yeah. sé si es. They are. Pero They're... como la incluye a ella. We a are. Me refiero. Ah, so we are three people. Yeah, sí, está bien. Pero es correcto three people. Yeah, it's correct. Three people. We are three people. Correct. Mm -hmm. How many days are you staying at the hotel? Sí, um, duda, mm -hmm. No, that's perfect. A family room for three, please. Excellent. Wow. Yeah, I was checking that. Um, sí, estaba chequeando eso, Miss. Don't worry that I saw that it was a little bit different. Okay, so yeah. Don't worry, that was perfect though. Está muy bonita. Yeah, I saw it. Thank you for doing it. Thank you everybody for participating and doing the practice. That was awesome. Now let's go and do the practice for homework number 17. So here, as you can see, we are going to complete the sentences using verb V going to plus the verb in brackets, right? And so number one, can you help me with number one, please, Miss Blanca? Going to. Pero. Is, no, is going to. Okay. Is going to. Phone, right? Phone. Uh -huh. Phone. Yes, thank you. Ana Marlene, la vi que encendió el micrófono ahí. Tell me, Miss Ana Marlene, number two. Fue por error de dedo, pero sí. sí. <laughs> okay, help me. <laughs> we are going to. Uh, uh -huh. uh, we are going to play mm -hmm. with a new computer or. A new computer game, right? A new computer game, ah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. Number three. No, that was perfect. Let's go, Carlos Argueta. Carlos Argueta, you there, mister? All right. All right. Ma, number three. Mm -hmm. My sister is going to watch TV. 
is going to watch TV. Number four, can you help me with number four, please? Yes, uh, solo, solo a poner is going to watch. Ah, okay, sorry. Okay, number four, uh, Mr. Dimas. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Eh, en esa teacher hay que ponerle you. Yes, si sí, así vive es la que tiene el problema. Uh -huh. Tell me the answer. Uh -huh. you, you are going to have. Mm -hmm. To have. Y solo eso, ¿verdad? Sí. Thank you, very good. Number five, Juan Ezequiel. Is going to go. Uh -huh. Is going to go. Okay. Any doubts for the other ones? No sé si tenemos alguna eh, duda en alguna o todas estas, alguna corrección en alguna sería. O así están bien. Así están bien. Así okay, están bien. let's check. It's correct. Excellent. Very good. We have another 20 points. Very good, very good. Okay. That was super good. And thank you for doing the practice with me, okay? And doing this ones. Uh, now, something that I want to remember to you, and I will send you a message, okay, on WhatsApp. Algo que quiero recordarles, y igual les voy a mandar un mensaje ahí en WhatsApp, es que para el día jueves quiero que hayamos toditos, toditos acá terminado la plataforma sección 4 y el examen final. Ok, el día jueves vamos a hacer, mmm, sí, el día jueves vamos a hacer dos ejercicios de la sección 4, o sea, finalizarla. O sea, el día jueves vamos a hacer el jueves y viernes. Ok, y ustedes tienen que haber ya trabajado el examen final. Recuerden eso, please, please. Ok, no. el viernes. Ajá. No sé, preguntas que escuché a alguien ahí que aquí iba a hablar. No, creo que me estoy quedando freeze, ¿verdad? I'm sorry. Okay, so please work in the final exam. Así que intentemos de ir avanzando también en el final exam. Okay, questions, doubts, comments, preguntas, comentarios, dudas. Okay, so if you don't have any questions or doubts, you may go. Se pueden retirar. And I will see you tomorrow, everybody. Okay, have a great night. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Everybody. Take care. Bye bye, Good night, everybody. Teacher. Good See night. You See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, <laughs> mister. Take care. See you tomorrow.